Hi my friends, it's Ro. Welcome back. Today I have a review of the show Prison Wives Club that was filmed in 2014, but during quarantine they just started releasing episodes on YouTube. And you guys asked me what I thought about it for my review. Little known fact, I was involved a little bit, kind of helped with that show way back in the day when it was filmed. So if you're interested in what I think of the show, how I was a little bit involved in the show, and anything else you wanted to know about Prison Wives Club, if it's worth watching, if it's not worth watching, if I think it's a waste of time, then please keep watching. If you're new here, my name is Ro. I'm the founder of a nonprofit organization called Strong Prison Wives and Families, the author of a book called The Comeback Code. We don't glorify or glamorize prison or prison wife life here. But if you stick with me, I share with you the exercises and the tools that I've used throughout the 20 plus years, almost 21 years, that my loved one has been gone. So you can get through this and put this behind you and get through this really painful, hopefully one shot deal. The show Prison Wives Club was filmed back in 2014 and I will never forget, the producers of the show contacted me way back when, they found me on YouTube, they found Strong Prison Wives and Families wherever we are all over social media and they reached out to see if any of our members wanted to be involved in this show and at the time I would not do any TV, I would not do any reality shows or anything like that. I always said I wouldn't do that while my mother was alive, I would not disrespect her like that. At the time I had a girl from Florida who was basically my right hand woman and when the producers for this show contacted me. I asked if she was interested in doing the show. So she got together a group of girls down in Florida. They used to hang out all the time. They were prison wives. Prison wives club, get it? And so they filmed with them. They did a night out at a club and they did a day trip in the mall and something crazy dramatic happened and they stopped filming. To this day, I don't know what happened. She didn't tell me. I didn't really get into it. I didn't want to pry or ask, but something really bad happened which is really crazy if you think about it and you're filming a reality show and something too dramatic happens and they stop filming. But then they decided they wanted to go with Washington State because there's family visits or conjugal visits there. So at the time, I didn't know anything further had happened. I knew they were recruiting in Washington. I knew they were using our social media pages to find people. That's all I knew. I didn't know they filmed. I didn't know they did anything. Fast forward to 2020 and somebody reached out to me and asked if I saw this show, The Prison Wives Club, and what I had thought of it. So I immediately searched it on YouTube and it was really cool because the episodes are on there and I could watch the full episodes but on YouTube I can watch them on one and a half or double speed and get through them more quickly. So last Saturday I ordered sushi. I had sushi date for one and that's what I did. I just watched it on double speed and I just played one after another after another and I could only find five episodes on YouTube and they were all the full episodes but I did some research because just when it started getting good is when I couldn't find any more episodes. So I didn't know if maybe they were dripping them out week by week. Even so, the last episode was over three weeks ago, so it didn't make any sense. When I did research through IMDB, I found that they canceled the show literally smack in the middle of the season. Done, it was over. I don't know why, they didn't say why. I guess the ratings weren't good, I'm not sure. I don't know why they're posting it now on YouTube, I'm assuming because coronavirus and they can't film new episodes or new shows or anything right now. Hopefully we're turning the corner and that's gonna be different over the next couple of months, but that's why I'm assuming that they released it now. So let's go through the cast and then my take on it. And then we could even go through IMDB and see some of the reviews or on Amazon or wherever. And we'll see if we can find some reviews on it and what other people are saying too. The first cast member we'll go over, her name is Gemini. She's a model, she's a beautiful girl, but she has this air about her where she's better than everybody else. And her husband is in for assault and these other women that they're getting to know in their prison wives club, their husbands have life sentences for murder. And she even pulls this other girl aside that she's kind of close with and she's like, our husbands have assault. I mean, I don't want to really interact with them because their husbands have murder. And she was kind of looking down her nose at people who met their loved one while they were incarcerated because she met him before. And I don't honestly judge her for it. I get it. I've seen this behavior over and over and over again. And at times I've been Gemini where it's a coping mechanism for prison wives to feel like, well, they're better. And we always use this line and they use it in the show. It's really funny because they use a lot of lines that you'll hear me say on YouTube all the time. If you're involved in prison wife support groups online, you always hear this phrase. You always hear a lot of phrases that they say in the show, but this one phrase is, 
Why are we fighting amongst each other? Like subgroups of prison wives constantly fight against each other. And I always have to remind everybody, why are we fighting against each other when it feels like we should be banding together because it feels like we're fighting against the world because we're misunderstood, we're constantly judged. There's this stigma that exists against us already. So it's just, it's hard sometimes. And I've seen it over and over and over again where, well, my husband doesn't have those charges or my husband doesn't have that long. And even opposite, well, my husband's a lifer, so I've got clout and my husband did this and it's worse. So he's got more cred. He's got more street credibility or whatever it is. When she pulled that girl aside and made that comment about, well, their husbands have murder, ours only have assault. That girl said back to her, and I loved her for it, she said, our husbands could have been in the same boat, they just didn't have as good of aim. If their aim was better, they would have been in the same boat and we would have been with people who had those charges. And this girl, Gemini, was very in the closet, which hey, we've all experienced. She didn't wanna have her name or her photos associated with this Prison Wives Club website but she was doing a reality show, so it makes no sense. We'll get into that more in a minute. So the next cast member is named Kate, and I think she's probably my favorite of all of them. She's a pretty girl. She's, I think, 33 years old. She's a cool chick. She likes to go out, she likes to have fun. She puts her husband in his place when they don't get along, she doesn't just kiss his ass. Their story is they knew each other before, they got married really quickly when they knew he was going inside, and I think he didn't have too much time left. He was in for assault as well. They do get family visits, conjugal visits, and she was just kind of a cool chick. She's one of those girls, like I tell you all the time, where you open up your relationship and some couples have an arrangement where the woman can hook up with women but they can't hook up with other men and that's what works for their relationship. She was one of those girls. When they asked her in one of the confessionals how she gets through this like sexually without being touched and she's like, I hang out with a pack of lesbians. At one point her husband gets a little bit jealous that she's hanging out with this guy that he knew from his past. She put him in his place about that as well. It's all understandable. To me, it's all real life stuff that we go through. She she was constantly fighting with Gemini, but it was about stuff that was trivial. And I feel like her personality wouldn't, she wasn't the type that would fight about trivial things. So I kind of took it as maybe the show being scripted, but again, we'll get there in a second. Let's just continue going through the cast. The next girl is, I think her name's pronounced Lakeisha and they call her Keisha. She's this strong black woman. She's MWI, she met her loved one while he's incarcerated. He is in for some sort of homicide. I don't think they have family visits yet, conjugal visits yet, because they have to be married for three years. If you get married while your loved one is inside, you have to wait three years in order to qualify for family visits, conjugal visits, at least at the time of the filming of this show or what they said on the show. That's also why Kate rushed to get married so she didn't have to wait. I think you wait a year, I think it was, when you get married before and three years when you get married after this way. They do that to slow people down from getting married just for conjugal visits and having these kind of, not fake weddings, but inmates going fishing, you know, and finding somebody to get married so they could have sex. So she's strong. She's the one that started this prison wife club. It's a prison wife support group, it's a prison wife's club. She was married for eight years. She has kids. I don't know how many, at least one. Her ex is still madly in love with her, which is obviously a common issue that a lot of people who are prison wives go through and her mother was supportive to her face but then a couple months before filming she was made privy to these conversations that her mother was talking all kinds of crap about her and her relationship and she wasn't speaking to her mother anymore. That's the only part of the show that made me emotional only because of my issues, you know, with my mom surrounding my relationship and my mom passed. She didn't pass while we were on bad terms, but at the same time, she never really accepted my relationship with Adam. That's okay, she understands it now from a different realm. But she is the epitome of like that strong ass woman, the glue that holds everybody together. In fact, at one point she says that everybody comes to her with her problems and they're at a yoga retreat and she breaks down because she keeps absorbing everyone's problems and she has to put on this strong persona and people forget that she's only human too and there are things that she's struggling with and she broke down. I can so relate to that. I have a video where I 
I think I cried for 30 minutes on video when I was having just a major emotional meltdown one day. And I said that, I mean, I was taking care of my mom who was sick and had a lot going on. And I was just in a position where there was a straw that broke the camel's back that day and I was done with everything. And then the fourth cast member is named Anna. She's MWI as well. She met her husband on right of prisoner actually. They were just about getting ready to get married, but also he just had legal work come through that could potentially overturn his sentence. So he was a lifer. He had a homicide, but with all this legal stuff that's coming through the courts right now, they have the ability to appeal this and potentially he's going to come home. Oh girl, I feel you. And they kind of went through some of that, but she's a cool chick. She doesn't really get involved in the drama. One thing I love about her is everybody's talking shit about everybody else and she does not engage. She just is like, oh, you know, she's a nice girl or she's her. She doesn't really talk crap about anybody. She has this really cute roommate who's her best friend and he stands up for her. They have a really good relationship. Her husband's a little controlling, but she says that she enjoys the control, which eh, red flag. And then at one point, one of the girls brings a guy to her Anna's housewarming party. And that guy was acting supportive at one point, but then he started asking these really pointed questions and he was being very judgmental in his line of questioning towards Anna. And I was just living it like, oh, mm -hmm, been there, done that. And you could tell she was getting really frustrated. She kept her cool and she was being nice in the beginning and then she got firm and then she walked away. And then she got her best friend roommate to come out and distract everybody and kind of defend her. It was just so relatable. And that's the thing. I think a lot of people can talk crap about this and you probably judge these girls, but they say, you judge what you don't know. And I never found myself judging these girls because I understand their struggle. I know what they're going through. I know why they're behaving the way that they're behaving. I know why they're doing what they're doing. And it's like, I can judge the housewives of Beverly Hills because I'll never be a millionaire that lives in a mansion that has those types of first world problems. So I'll judge those people all day long, although I shouldn't, but I'm saying the stuff that reality TV tends to incite in you. And then when I was looking on IMDB, they said that a lot of people said this was awful reality TV and this show was awful. I don't think it was awful reality TV per se. It was 2014 reality TV versus 2020 reality TV. It's very different. You wanna know awful reality TV? Watch the show Jerseylicious. That was awful reality TV. And talk about not judging something you don't know. I'm not judging it. I've been to that salon. My sister lived next door to the wife of one of the people that was on the show. So I know what's going on there. I've lived in Jersey three quarters of my life. That show was awful. This show, ugh. I genuinely think that they did an incredible job of being really diverse and finding prison wives who are in different areas of prison wife life. They did a really well-rounded representation. I so, so, so appreciated that they didn't make it ratchet. They didn't find these ratchet girls because that would have probably gotten them ratings. Basically, they were like creating strong prison wives and families which I knew they were doing, I knew about the show, but they were trying to create an in-person Strong Prison Wives and Families and film it. The problem being, it was all about like the Prison Wives Club, the Prison Wives Club, the Prison Wives Club, and it didn't really take off. So there really wasn't much to watch. And then the parts that were dramatic seemed a little bit contrived. So I'm still trying to figure out if it was really reality TV or if it was scripted reality TV or if it was maybe somewhere in the middle. I mean, the guys were calling in on JPEG. You saw the little JPEG symbols on the phone. Could that be made up? I mean, yeah, it could be staged, but I think that it was true, but perhaps production kind of guided them into things. That's what I think. I don't think I would have continued to watch this show had I not been doing it for YouTube because you guys asked me to so I could review it. Not because it wasn't really intriguing, it was just my life. I've been there, it was just, you know, if you wanna learn about prison wife life, there was a lot of stuff in there that you could learn from them. They talk about the hole and what it is. They talk about conjugal visits and what they are. So if you're just starting out in this life, yeah, but like if you're a doctor, I don't think you would watch a show about first year medical students that were talking about basic medical terminology and medicine. If it was 
you know, maybe more about the drama of what goes on behind the scenes, then yeah, probably. But you didn't really get that all the way with this because they were so focused on the prison wives club that never took off. And then in one of the last episodes, which I thought was really interesting, was that the girl that was kind of stuck up, Gemini, she started to veer off and she started to flirt with this photographer from one of her shoots. And in the, the, the coming attraction scenes, they showed her flirting with this guy and then her starting a fight with her loved one and saying something along the lines of, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm bored. I'm tired. I want to be with somebody on the outside. I was so interested in seeing that episode because I've been there before. I think we've all been there before. And even though maybe she wasn't the best character, to portray that because you kind of already didn't like her because of her stuck upness. I still would have been very interested in watching that because one, it kind of would have pulled her back to reality and two, it's something that we all go through and I'd like to see how they put that out there. But unfortunately, that's it. There were five episodes. A lot of places they're saying four. I swear I watched five episodes. I swear I did. Let me look right now. Yep, so there were five episodes. On IMDb it says, Prison Wives Club. Four women from different backgrounds share their stories of being married to men that are currently in prison for anywhere from 10 years to life. They share their struggles and drama as they try to connect with each other in the Prison Wives Club. Since this is getting long, let's just do a poll. I think I'll come back and I will share some reviews with you and then respond to those reviews because some of them are kind of judgmental and some of them I agree with. And then also, if you want me to review things that happen in the episodes, because a lot of stuff they talk about is actually stuff that we go through as prison wives and it can kind of help teach you. So let me know if you want to see that. I'd also love to know if you watch it, what you think in the comments below, if you liked it, if you didn't like it, if, if you thought it was trash, if you thought it was interesting, if you thought it was the kind of trash that makes reality really, really good. I had no problems with it. Like I said, it was kind of basic for me and it wasn't entertaining enough to really capture me. But at the same time, I live it every single day. So I'm just like a little beyond. You know, I started this in 2009. I'm a little bit beyond the basic starter stuff and if there was maybe more oomph to it more about the backgrounds of their life like I think if they continued and finished the season and then went into a season two and did backgrounds and more about them less about the club I think it would have been a really good show or a better show and of course if it was up to date in fact as I was watching it I knew from the outfits and I knew from the hairstyles and the makeup that it wasn't current when I looked it up on IMDB and I saw it was 2014 I was like that makes complete sense. If you're interested in a video about sex after prison and the juicy stuff, click that video right there. And if you're not already subscribed, why not? Subscribe because I don't want you missing any future videos about this or anything else. Click that circle right there. I love you. I'm glad you're here and I'll see you in the next one.